Good morning everybody, it is Thursday today and I am looking slightly worse for wear, would that be fair? <laughs> I've woken up this morning and decided to put a gym kit on, um, but I don't want you to be fooled, this by no means means that I'm doing exercise, it just means that I'm thinking about it. And should I decide to? Well, I'll already be dressed. Because two days ago, actually, I did a four mile bike ride just out the blue. And I felt really good about it afterwards because I am not an exerciser. Like, I just don't enjoy it at all. So, thinking about it. Today, I literally don't have any plans. Now, I'm just at home in Hayward's Heath again, at my mum's. And I've asked Louise if she wants to do something fun today. We'll see what she says. So, that's, that's where we're at. That is where we're at. I'm just gonna have some breakfast and watch a bit of Disenchanted on Netflix. Last night I forgot to prepare my overnight oats, which I've been having a lot recently with blueberries and honey. But last night I forgot. So, um, excuse this washing up. Maybe I should sit this side. Ah, okay, options are natural yogurt and honey, maybe some toast with um, granddad's marmalade, puffed wheat or rice pops. Ooh. Maybe puffed wheat. Puffed wheat, yes. I've just been texting my sister and she has invited me to go to some sort of like tea rooms or something with her today for like brunch. And I was like, well look, I'm in gym kit, so can we meet later? Because I'm gonna have to do some sort of exercise and wash my hair. And she was like, oh my God, I've just done the same. Do one of the Joe Wicks HIIT workouts. And then it'll be done in 15 minutes and then you can come and join me, so. I am gonna do some exercise, wow, woo! A very rare occasion. And also, we've just had a new patio laid, so this is the perfect excuse to make use of the, um, the new space. And here it is. This will be my exercise spot for the day. <laughs> I've gone for the absolute beginners hit <laughs> workout. Okay, here we go. That was the longest 20 minutes of my life. I am sweaty. That was an absolute beginners, let me remind you. <laughs> that just shows how unfit I am. God, look at my hair. This is a mess. I'm gonna go and have a shower. I apologize that you ever had to see this. Oh, did I mention that it rained on me? That's why I had to put you inside. Okay, shower. Well, that is um, marginally better. Um, I'm far too hot to dry my hair though, and I'm still red and sweating. I've got a question. Now, you have to fall into two categories to be eligible to answer this question. First category is that you work out in the mornings, and second category is that you wear makeup in the day. Like, how do you go about putting on makeup when your face is still sweating half an hour later? I don't understand. I was like, I had my, my fan thing literally directed at my face trying to do my makeup to keep my face dry while I was putting it on. But I just think, if you work out before work every day and you, you are someone that wears makeup to work, how, how? Like how? I don't know. Also, the hair wash. Do you not wash your hair after every workout? In that case, do you dry your hair before work when you're still sweaty and hot? I just don't understand how it works. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> We're heading over to Lou's now. Why does it always rain on me? Out of one car and into another. I'm with Louise now. She is taking me to a few little things today. But first up on the agenda is something called the Arts Cafe. Where is it? Rotting Dean. I've never even heard of it. Is there art there? Yep. Do we do art? No. Oh, we just eat mm -hmm. and look at art. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. So this is in Rottingdean, this is called the Open Art Cafe. recommend that little place, it was really, really sweet. And the watermelon cake was something else. Second 
stop on our tour today is Lidl. Louise is having a few dinner parties over the next few days, so she's just getting stuff for that. However, I, for Christmas this year, I am making a marmalade gin that I'm gonna like give to people with little like homemade tags because I can't afford Christmas presents. So I'm gonna do like a trial run. I'll link the uh, website down below. Apparently it was really, really popular when it first came out. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. So I'm gonna get those ingredients today. I don't actually think I've mentioned in a vlog yet, but Louise and Dan have moved out. And Dan today has been sanding the wooden floorboards of this room and it is so dusty. <laughs> Look at you. Bless ya. Anyway, we're back at Lou's now. I've come to pick up some marmalade that my granddad made. And then I might head back if you're done with me. Hey, Oz. I am now home and I've decided that it is now gin o'clock making gin o'clock so it's a marmalade and bay gin and I was just reading the uh, instructions and it says the first thing we have to do is sterilize the container so I'm just using this carafe and uh, I've just washed it up with warm soapy water and then you have to put it in a preheated oven at 140 degrees for 15 minutes. Ah, good luck! We have one sterilised container. So I've now let this cool down so it's time to add the ingredients. First up is 250 grams of good quality marmalade. So Nanny, I know you're watching this vlog, what I need you to do is pause it, go and get Grandad to watch this bit because he's going to like this. So. Good quality marmalade. I am, of course, using my granddad's marmalade because it's the best in the world. So that goes in first. Next up, it says three fresh bay leaves. Now, bay leaves don't get much fresher than when you've stolen them from your neighbor's bay tree, but they are quite small. Sorry, Gemma, no offense. So instead of three, I'm actually gonna use four, even though I stole six. <laughs> and then 750 milliliters of gin. Oh my god, this is so exciting! This is gonna be delish. And then it says, give it a good stir. Oh my god, that feels like a good stir. Oh, this is thoroughly exciting. Then it says to seal it, so I'm just gonna use some cling film. And then we just have to keep it somewhere like cool and dry and leave it for two weeks. And in two weeks, we should have some marmalade and bay gin. And I can't wait. Hey, did you want to come and have a look? This is going to be your Christmas present. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Good luck. See you in two weeks. I have been doing some of my freelance design work for the last couple of hours. On a Thursday, I usually have my rodeo show over at the hospital. However, mum's coming home tonight. I'm kind of on a roll doing this. So I've just emailed in to say that I'm not gonna be there this week. So sorry to the patients that won't be keeping you um, entertained this evening. Uh, so yeah, as I said, mum is due back this evening. She works away during the week. So I said that I would go to Sainsbury's and make her a nice dinner. Grandad, if you are still watching, if this gin thing works out and is delicious, like I think it's gonna be, uh, I think we should go into business. I think you should make the marmalade. I'll make the gin, we'll sell it, and we'll get rich quick, business partner. What is on the menu tonight, you ask? Well, <clears throat> from Mr. Jamie Oliver's five ingredient, quick and easy food, we are having the flaky pastry pesto chicken, which should look like this. Here's our five ingredients, and because I have a card to mum's bank account, I also treated us to a bottle of wine. Oh, <gasps> the helicopter. Missed it. Mum's home! Guess what? Yeah. I exercised today. Again? Yeah. Et voila! It doesn't look exactly like Jamie's, but Mum's um, impressed and that's all that matters, so <laughs> that's great. <laughs> What's your to get fed. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh my god, look at me vlogging by candlelight. <laughs> it's a few hours later now, I think it's like 11 o'clock. Mum and I have just had the loveliest dinner and catch up. Just non-stop chatting for a few hours, which has been lovely. But it's time for bed now, so thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon. 